guys welcome back okay so today I wanted to create just a really easy simple eye look and I was like okay KK what color do you want to do do you want to do green blue purple red orange and I'm like nah nah I said you know what I'm kind of really feeling like I want spring and summer to be here. So I decided to do this kind of like golden, I don't know, it kind of looks a little bit orange and yellow and goldenish, but with this top that I have on, it's like a little yellow tank top. I said, let's go with like a goldy look for the eyes today. So this is what I came up with and I actually really like it. Now, the palette I use today is my Yolando Jam Rock No Limitations palette. Well, plain and makeup <laughs> by Yolando. And the name of the palette is Jam Rock No Limitations. Love this palette. This is one of my favorites. It's very, very versatile. I mean, if you are a regular viewer of mine, you know I love her palettes. And it's because they're so bold and colorful and bright which is right up my alley, amazing mattes, amazing shimmers. Now with her shadows, they are very, very pigmented. So if you don't like working with, you know, pigments or extremely pigmented shadows, then this might not be your cup of tea, <laughs> but I love her palettes. I wish they weren't so expensive, but I love her palettes. Now, she does have sales occasionally where you can catch like a 40% off and this, that. I think there's one coming up in March, actually. So if you're interested, make sure you keep your eye out. But yeah, this is the palette I used today. And as you can see, a lot of beautiful, bold colors in here. But I only used two shadows out of this whole palette to create this look. And the shadows that I used are these two. So I just went in with this one and this one to create this beautiful kind of like gold toned eye look and I absolutely love it. <laughs> so anyways, enough of me yak, yak, yakking. I just want to go ahead and do a quick, simple look so I can record some other videos today. <laughs> and this is what we have. So if you'd like to see how I created this whole kind of like summery bronzy face because I did do the whole face on video for you guys then stay tuned because it's coming up next okay you guys so let's go ahead and get started on this look so the first shade that I'm using out of this jam rock no limitations palette is the shade Sadie and this color it's kind of hard to describe it's kind of like a warm orangey mustardy shade something like that and as you can see I didn't use a super bright eyeshadow base I just have a regular eyeshadow primer on my lids and so I'm just taking my time and building up this shadow and using a nice fluffy brush to just kind of spread it out throughout my crease make sure it's nice and pigmented and kind of neat just trying to make sure it stays in a nice neat shape now for my lid, I'm going into the shade Becky and I am spraying my brush because I do want to just lay down this gorgeous gold eyeshadow. Now this shimmery shadow was actually <laughs> the catalyst for this whole eye look because once I swatched this shade, I knew I wanted it all over my lid. So I just needed to pick a crease color and these two colors went perfectly together. So as you can see, I'm just placing that down on my lid. Now I'm going back in with Sadie, that same matte shadow, and I'm just tapping it in the outer corner. Very simple and easy. I mean, it doesn't get any easier than this, you guys. And it's very, very pretty. So now I'm just going in with my NYX Black Liquid Eyeliner. You guys know I use this stuff all the time. So I'm using this to create just a nice basic wing today, nothing too crazy. Moving on to the face, for primer, I'm using my Becca Skin Love. It's the Brighten and Blur Primer. It's infused with glow nectar to brighten and moisturize and hydrate. I really like this primer. It feels so good on the skin. It does um, help my makeup to stay all day. 
doesn't do too much for my pores but it's very nice so for, for foundation I decided to go ahead and use my NYX total control drops I haven't used these in a long time you guys so I wasn't sure how I felt about them but I really like them <laughs> I really really do as you can see I just placing it on my face and blending it out and I think this color works well for me it's cappuccino and it does blend out very nicely with a damp sponge so just using my pawpaw sponge to blend it out now for concealer once again I'm trying this Maybelline instant age rewind you guys I don't know how I feel about this stuff I really feel like I don't like it <laughs> it's just I don't know what it is I don't hate it but I just don't feel like it gives me a nice smooth look under my eyes and you know I think that instead of rewinding my age it actually increases my age because under my eyes just don't look as nice and smooth as I'm used to with my other concealers so yeah I don't know what I'm gonna do with this if I'm gonna finish it or not so for powder under my eyes and in my highlighted areas I decided to go ahead and use this little sample of cover effects powder this is in translucent deep um it's a nice powder it really is I like it a lot um the color is deep enough to where you know I could use it for my whole face if I wanted to but yeah so far I like it now to set the rest of my face I'm going in with my Maybelline Superstay this is in the shade 355 coconut I really like this pressed powder you guys it sets my face very nicely um, I don't have any issues with it you know moving around and transferring throughout the day it holds my makeup in place very nicely so I do like it now to bronze up a bit I'm using my covergirl full spread full spectrum bronzer if I can talk today this one is in the shade ebony I believe and I really like this bronzer because it looks really really dark <laughs> in the pan but as you can see as you gently place it down and blend it out it's just a really nice bronzer shade I like it now this beauty bakery palette has really been the bane of my existence every single ever since I bought it because I really didn't know how to use it but I've been kind of playing around with it and just testing out the different items the highlighter the contour the blush and so far I love the contour and the highlighter as you can see I'm just placing it down where I want to contour and just using a firm brush to just blend it out and it looks really really nice I was kind of concerned because it has a little bit of shimmer in it but you can't see it you cannot see it and it looks really really nice when it's blended out so I decided to go ahead and use my cover effects um, monochromatic blush duo today and I have the shade spice cinnamon so I'm just tape tapping that blush on my cheeks and this blush very pigmented you guys very very pigmented so you got to go in lightly with it but very pretty so I'm going back into my beauty bakery palette for that highlight look at that highlight you guys perfect for this bronzy kind of gold I wish it was summertime look <laughs> that I'm creating today on my face I mean this highlighter is so so nice really really like it it's gorgeous now to help out with creating this glowy look today I decided to spray on some of my pixie glow mist before I finished my eyes and as you can see I'm making sure that I coat my face all over very nicely because this glow mist yo <laughs> if you want to glow look at that looking like a, a bronze goddess <laughs> so going back into the palette I'm using that same matte shadow just using a fluffy brush to kind of um, you know blend that out on my lower lash line nothing too dramatic you guys this look is so super duper easy but as you can see the color is there now I wanted to go ahead and just 
put on some mascara no falsies today so i'm using my la girl uh, volumatic mascara um i don't you know i like this mascara it doesn't do anything miraculous but it definitely coats and lengthens my lashes so i do really like it now for my lips i'm using my shayla and ColourPop lippy pencil perfect color for just a simple glossy lip And on top of that, I'm going in with one of my Buxom Lip Plumping Glosses. I haven't used these in a long time, and I said, you know what? These would be perfect because they have a little bit of shimmer in them. So I'm using the shade Joy just to create a nice, glossy, shimmery look for this eye look today. So this is the final look, you guys. I must say... For this to be such a simple look, I really like it. I actually fell in love with this look. I'm like, I need to do more monochromatic looks, like just throw some green in my crease and put on a bomb green shimmer shadow or something. So you guys might see some more of these two-tone or just monochromatic two-shadow looks from me, just trying some different things out. So. That's it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you on the next one. Toodles!